Uh, hello guys. Uh, this is God of Knockers, aka Patrick Mason on Twitch, or commonly known as uh, Playboy Man on uh, Twitter. And there's something that needs to be addressed here, and it's. I'm not going to go into my usual routine of, you know, the opening intro and the montage and the dialogue and gameplay footage. I this is something that needs to be mentioned here because I'm noticing something and it's it's really starting to bother me and it's something that needs to be uh, completely addressed um, I have noticed as of late that even with the all the shit that's going on the, the school shootings and the gun control argument whether you are for or against there has now been suddenly an uptick in blaming gamers. You know, it was bad enough and Edith Sarkeesian got this whole shitstorm started. It was bad enough that the NRA kind of hopped in with, you know, the last few shootings from that point. And then you had Jack Thompson from way back in the day. Now, we have Donald Trump, who says he's going to meet with video game industry leaders and in talking about school safety. I'm going to say a couple of things about this. First and foremost, video game developers, I myself being one of them, gamers, again, I'm one of them, and people who just love video games in general, who love talking about them, discussing them, watching them being played, we are not the cause of any of this shit. Okay? None of us are. Okay, you, you want to talk about our tools of the trade? This is this is our tool of the trade right here, a controller. It's just buttons and switches, and that's it. It doesn't contain any ammo. I can't kill anybody with this in real life. It's just a device. That's the tools of the gaming trade. Another thing, mice and keyboards. This is my mouse. Again, no bullets. This is my keyboard. I type on it a lot. Yes, I know it's upside down, but I don't really care. This is all gamers really do. We're sitting in a chair, we're standing up, or we're on the go, or whatever, and all we're doing is pushing buttons on a keyboard or a controller and clicking the mouse. That's all we're doing. And it's all happening on a screen, and the things that are happening on the screen are determined by the buttons we press. That's it. At no point ever do we feel that we should go out, grab an actual weapon, and start shooting people? That's That doesn't happen. Okay, and I have played video games for the vast majority of my life. I started playing them when I was four years old. My first few games was uh, Combat, River Raid, Pitfall, and Space Invaders, all for the Atari 2600. And over the years, I have played games starting from Nintendo, the Genesis, I played Mortal Kombat 2 when it first came out. I have played just about every Grand Theft Auto game you can think of. I played PUBG. I've played Insurgency. A lot of violent games that I have played over the years. And I'm going to tell you right here and now. If you were to ask me, how many crimes have I committed? The answer is zero. How many people have I physically attacked or assaulted? The answer is zero. How many guns do I own? The answer is zero. Even if I own a gun, would I go out and start shooting people just because? The answer is no. Do I have any desire to inflict bodily harm on anybody? The answer is still no. Okay? I'm 38 years old and I'm going to be 39 this year, still playing the violent video games. And I have never once had any physical altercations with anybody. I've never even been in a fight. Not once. So... You'll forgive me if I get a little ticked off if Donald Trump, the NRA, and even now Anita Sarkeesian steps up and say that video gamers are abusive, that we are violent, that we are going to pick up a gun and start shooting people in real life, that we are responsible for the mass shootings, that we are responsible for society's ills, that we're going to disrespect women, that we're going to do these things, that we're going to do that things. You're basically making millions, if not billions of people, all around the world sound like K-1 
killer is in the making. You make it sound like criminals in the making. You make it sound like we're just going to do this terrible, horrible thing. And I'm not okay with that. That is not remotely close to true. That is not remotely close to accurate. I am not a killer. I am not a murderer. I am not a mass shooter. I am not a terrorist. I am not going to go out and commit a crime after I've played a video game. That doesn't happen. You know what does happen? Sometimes I might go upstairs and use the bathroom. I might go into the kitchen make myself something to eat or drink. And when I'm finished with the work that I usually do, I just lay down and fall asleep. Take a nap. And wake up and maybe watch TV, watch a movie. Chilling, chatting, talking with my girlfriend. That's, those are things that I do when I finish playing a video game. This notion that we're violent people, that gamers are violent, dangerous people who are going to do violent, dangerous things. No, that's not who we are. And I know some of you are probably going to step up and say, well, what about that guy who committed the swatting accident? That, that's not what a gamer is. That's what an asshole is. An asshole with no sense of moral fiber and definition of right and wrong. All right? Video games aren't the cause of that. Society is responsible for society's problems. Game developers, game executives, and just gamers in general, we're not the cause of that. And yeah, there are some idiots and morons and dumbasses in the mix, but that's with everything. In government, in business, politics, in culture, there's always going to be that one idiot who steps up and does something incredibly stupid. But to blame the entire culture, to blame the entire... to blame an entire hobby for why he did those things, that is not fair. That's not fair at all. One person fucks up does not mean that everybody else is going to do the exact same thing. It's like the expression, one bad apple spoils the whole barrel. No, that rule only applies to apples. We're not apples. We are human beings. And if one person decides to fuck up, that's on that one person. It's not on me. It's not on organizations or groups. All right? It's on that one idiot. He had problems from the jump long before and trying to lump in video games and video game violence into that that's just stupid that's lazy okay that's just really lazy if you're a gamer and you're watching this video I recommend that you share this video with just anyone and everyone get it out there cuz quite frankly I'm just I'm just so fucking sick and tired of gamers and the video game industry being blamed for these tragedies. We didn't do this. We're not responsible for this. And I'm really sick and tired of people thinking that we are. Parents thinking that we are. Politicians thinking that we're responsible. I'm done with it. We should be done with this. I'm not saying to start a movement. I'm not saying to start a boycott because I don't believe in those things. But what I do believe is standing up to someone, looking them dead in the eye and say, hey, this is not my fucking problem. Thank you very much for listening. You guys have a great day and happy gaming.